Hi guys, it's Becky. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. Today I'm doing a flip through of my Hobonichi cousin for 2022. Oh, I've just, just eaten some crisps and it's uh, this planner picks up everything. This planner is the Gilio and it's in the matte croco black and I just have it set up really really simply uh, I tend to go all out in like my stallages and things but um, I do like this to be you know classic and simple uh, just a few planner spot things in here and if found an emergency some house of stickers calendar stickers which I really like uh, some of the functional stickers that I make minimalist paperclip those two are from Kobo and Lucy. Coffee Monster Co seals. And then I also have a notebook in here in case I need to, you know, go over on my journaling or whatever. So let's go. I did keep it really, really simple this year. I fell in love with this artwork. A few shops have used this artwork now and I just, I absolutely love it. So I've just got a 2023 and a Becky. I loved this typewriter from Sterling Inc. And yeah, I just stuck this vellum down on top of there. And then we move on. I just stuck a piece of Sterling Ink Vellum, one of my favourites. And then we've got this, uh, you've got to show up for yourself. I loved the green colour on this. Loved it. And then what I did is I tipped in, it's quite thick cardboard, but I tipped in a planner spot calendar. And I have highlighted all of the school holidays. And I've also put in paydays and important events and stuff in green. Um, each week I have this planner spot calendar which is on this clipboard and then also last year we got given the clipboard stand so it sits on my desk like that and I put in paydays and um, like important dates that I don't want to remember for the month on there and then this vellum here is also from the planner spot I think and I've just covered up the 2022 because I don't need to refer to those calendars at all. So this I've had a love-hate relationship with. Um, I started off using it as a tracker. If I'm 100% honest, I went in to 2023, not really happy with my planners, not really 100% on, I was, um, I was duplicating a lot of the work and I wasn't 100% happy with it i wasn't happy since the september and what it was is i didn't do <laughs> this is how stupid it is i didn't do a hobonichi order and because i didn't do a hobonichi order because i didn't think i was going to be using a hobonichi um it just threw me off massively and this year it's now like march and uh coming up yeah middle of march and um i've only just figured out what i want to do and where i want to be with the planners so um, I haven't utilised this as much as I'd like to. Uh, I do like doing tracking in here and I am going to be doing tracking but it's going to be in a different planner and I will do a planner, a, a re, like a going into quarter two, well we're already in quarter two, like planner update and things but this is just a flip through of this. So as it stands at the minute I'm just using it as a contents uh, and there as so this was used as a contents and this but i'm not really writing anything i don't use my daily pages um to write notes on anything or anything like that i use it mainly for journaling like i mean i haven't got anything in here that i would need to reference i mean i've put cases fish dyed i've got painkillers for back got some roses you know there's nothing really there they're more like highlights i think of the day not that casey's fish stein's a highlight uh so then i thought well i wasn't i stopped using my stalogy my um regular stalogy because i was using this so so much and so well i didn't feel the need for the standard size stalogy um so yeah i've been using this so far this month as um a youtube tracker to see when i am posting on youtube and then i will have to have a think about how i'm going to use this going forward because i have got a list of how i'm using all the other planners so i wanted to use my monthlies i love this i wanted to use my monthlies as memory planners so that i can look back and see like the highlight of the day and also um 
appointments and things like the kids school Christmas party and Loki school Christmas play and and all that kind of stuff I've put in here I smudged it at the bottom here I love this this washi was from a DK design sub so were these stickers and yeah I just loved how this turned out and I hadn't done any more um planning in here as in for the months because I was gonna film it and do it but as you know I haven't been filming I haven't been filming lately and it was starting to feel a bit empty so I have gone in and wrote down the um, highlights of the day and then what I'm gonna do is when I sit down and watch Netflix or something I'm just gonna come in and put like a sticker a day on these because I think they just pop out so much because uh, that's like productive filming day. If I stick a filming sticker on there, then I'm going to know, oh, that's filming and cleaning. And, you know, I just think it makes it pop. So I have done January and I just used some washi tape and these January scripts, which are from Rebel Ink Co. And I don't know where these date covers are from, but they're gold ones to match the washi at the bottom. And then we go into February. Now, this was one of the when you subscribe to dk design subscription i'm i no longer subscribe to their um subscription because i just thought the quality went downhill a little bit for what i liked and i wasn't using a lot of the stuff it went about four months with me not liking the um the theme that i was just like no i can't justify that and then the coffee months to co put out her subscription so i ditched the dk designs for the coffee months to co um but yeah, this was one of the monthlies. I did have to do a lot of cutting down in this. Um, I had to cut down each of the days individually because it was a Sunday start and it was one strip. I had to cut down this massively. I had to cut down these washi tapes. The only thing I didn't have to do anything with was the date covers that I put in, um, put on. And again, I've just filled it in with the highlights and then I'll go in and I will put a sticker per day i haven't done march because i've still got this kit from march last year because i bought the january to um i can't remember january to whenever i've got page one of oh no i've got two pages of march left to use and then randomly two junes so yeah i really really like these and i just love the way that they have the bills and things like that but i won't really be using them for uh functional so i'll just write some highlights in these boxes and things like that and just do a bit of deco with those so that's how i'm using my monthlies in here i have gone forward and put in some um holidays in there but that is the monthly and then for the end of the month i just tipped in this i've just realized that well i suppose it's not it's the right way that way but it's not the right way that way um it's upside down <laughs> is what i've just realized i put it in upside down what an idiot uh, this is a freebie from kobo and lucy stationery and i just printed it on some vellum this is just to annotate like the last because uh, I won't be in here in March. That's just to annotate the beginning of the weeklies. I haven't put any tabs on this one. And do you know what? It hasn't really bothered me. One thing I have done is I, I've got these book darts from Hobonichi. And I've put a book dart at the beginning of each of the months. So they came in a little tin like this. Oh, can I open you? because I've got bloody nails and I can't get in. Ugh. Oh, this is crazy. I don't know why I can't get in there. <laughs> this is mental. I can't get in there. I cannot get in there. I'm gonna have to get Chris to open that up, but they they are like an arrow on one side and that on the other, and I've just put those at the bottom at the beginning of each of the months so that I know where I am. So I have literally hit this planner hard this year, as in like I'm using it every single day, and I even, like I said earlier, I put my salad to one side 
because I was using this so well. The thing with the Stalogy is I was missing, like, there's things that I'm missing. So I stopped using the weeks. I did carry on using my health weeks because I wanted to track all medication and things like that. But I predominantly was just using this planner. Now, the weekly aspect of this planner is memory planning. So I come in after the fact and I fill this in. And I love that. And I do that because um, I've got a YouTube channel. If I wasn't filming for YouTube, I'd probably, at the end of the day, come in and fill these in at the end of each day. But I don't mind sitting down and have a good old planner sesh with you guys and you know back planning a week it doesn't matter if I'm behind or whatever so I love using this as a memory planner so that means like initially I wasn't bothered about having like these trackers and things like that in there but what I've come to realize is I am going to be implementing more planners into my lineup which I will do a video on but I still want all the information in one place so I don't necessarily need to keep like my health planner or anything because I do want all the information to be in here now the latest plan with me video that I did I've got this graph here which I'm tracking mood anxiety pain and sleep I want to carry on doing that and I want that information in here and then along the bottom while I'm doing my medication change and things I want a little section where I come right in you know um, when I had backache, when I had earache, when I had this medication, when I had that medication, I like to track what I'm eating. So I do want all the information in one place. So as, as I go through, you'll see, I, I stopped using the sidebar sometimes. Uh, I used it initially at first, but I stopped using it and I was like, oh, I don't know what to put in the sidebar. But I have come to the decision now that I need to go in hard on all my planners, use them for what I want to use them for, make sure I'm updating them, because that's the problem. I wasn't updating my planners, so I wasn't able to update, like, this sleep tracker at the end of the week. So, yeah, my plan going forward from now, bearing in mind I've got a few more back plans to do before I catch up, because I've just done the 20th to the 26th, and we're on the 13th, so I've still got one two three weeks left of no data so yeah that's a bit oh but it is what it is and we'll just move forward and carry on this uh plan with me is with a planner spot kit you'll see a pattern going through of the kits that i use i subscribe to the planner spot and i love their kits and i love the fact that they fit in the width really really well i love i love love their kits so uh this is a planner spot one this is a rebel uh, no this is a dk designs kit cut down i believe i think don't hold me to that um i did like this um i was just writing in this is a sterling ink again i subscribed to sterling ink again just writing things in i didn't really have many um like emotes and stuff like i've recently bought where are you emotes I've recently bought quite a few uh, emojis and things from Once More With Love and the Coffee Monster Co. And I've also like stocked up on my favourite stickers like from Alvy Planning Co, Grumpy Tortoise, things like that so that I can, you know, put a bit more information in these. But I just love a DK Designs subscription. I love, love, love it. This again was the Planner Spot. Um, absolutely love this. Did Sometimes I cover the date covers, sometimes I don't. Um, the only problem with these is things don't really pop out at me. That's another thing that I've noticed. Like, when I put something in a box, it pops out at me. Like, setting up my cousin hair extensions in, hair consultation, Willow and Loki parents evening. Those things pop out at me. When you look at this, nothing's really popping out, is it? Nothing's like, oh, so, like... Um, if I was to go through it, setting up Cousin Daily Pages, Passport TN, you know, there are things that I could have put in a box, like my hair appointment. So when I'm flicking back through, trying to find out or trying to remember, oh, when was the last time I had a hair appointment? I would rather it be in a box or highlighted or something or some way of making it pop out a little bit because I do much prefer to see things popping off the page. Um... Casey got her first detention on that day. Um, it's just, you know, little silly memories like that that um, I really, really like. So again, planner spot. This was a journaling kit. Um, 
I don't like this week. I love the journaling kit because I love leopard print and everything. But I just don't, I feel like I'm rushing with my writing. And again, nothing pops out. And I did do quite a lot this week. So, yeah, I'm, I'm learning from my mistakes. I love, I love this week. That this is the complete opposite, isn't it? Because everything's in a box. This is um, the uh, Palantine's weekend uh, Sorry, can't get my words out. This is the Palantine's kit from Rebel Ink Co. It's for the Hobie Nietzsche cousin, and it was for Palantine's weekend, which was a weekend in Peterborough. Um, I was an absolute idiot. I only booked one night instead of the two, so I missed out. I bought the weekend ticket, but I missed out on the overnight and the next day, which I was a bit gutted about, but I absolutely love this. It just, I don't know. It reminds me of, you know, the old five by eight five by nine planning you know i mean i know some people still do it it's really date, dated to me like i i never could get my head around it when because i wanted it to look stunning i didn't want it to just look mediocre and i just i'm not as good as some of those planners out there that can make their spreads look absolutely amazing i'm just not there yet but i am learning like i said from my mistakes and from things not mistakes as much but like things that i want to change uh, this is another planner spot kit i've used a lot of planner spot kits haven't i and i have put things in boxes so things are popping out at me here um quite easily just by looking at the boxes this one has got to be one of my all-time favorite spreads that i've ever done in a planner in especially in the home each cousin i used a journaling kit from little balloon papery it was a two for two journaling kit um and some of the extras like toppers i'm pretty sure i think maybe this kit came in the advent calendar i'm not sure I think you can still buy it. I used boxes. This is the first time that I picked highlighters that would match the kit and I used highlighters. I used clear stickers because I thought they just went well with the colour. I tried to use as many of the boxes and because the boxes aren't just plain boxes, they've got like floral elements to them as well. Um, I just absolutely loved how this turned out. Like I absolutely loved it. It's so stunning. And I love the way that things just pop out, like I baked some bread, it was pancake day, um, online shopping, filmed March Stalogy setup, like loads of things are just popping off the page to me. If you don't know Two for Two Tuesday, then check it out on Little Balloon Paper Eight. I have got a discount code for her in the description box below. You can't use it on Two for Two Tuesday because, you know, she wouldn't be making any money. But not only does she do the like journaling kits and things on there all of these kind of um all of these kind kit little kits boxes functional boxes star checklists all of this like the these little blue and papery things they're all on two for tuesday and two for two tuesday and they're never just on Tuesday, like you can literally go on a website and two for two Tuesday will be up. The only time it won't be up is if she's took it down to, you know, to put up new stuff, which she tends to do like every week or every couple of weeks. I absolutely, I'm, I'm obsessed with her. And this gave me the confidence to use journaling kits um, in like the weekly spread because this just like, it's perfect it's the perfect amount of everything for me uh then we went on to another planner spot kit i had i've been subscribed to the plan spot for like well over a year and i've got all of last year's kits that i didn't really use um and so i am trying to use them as much as possible this year but i need to like slow down and um use some other kits this was a hobonichi weeks kit Home and each cousin kit, sorry, from the Coffee Monster Co. I love, love, love the Coffee Monster Co. But I'm not gonna lie, when I look at this, it's just like, oh my god, this hurts my brain. Like nothing stands out because there's just so much going on. I do like as I go. I think, I think I need to use less emotes. Just use maybe one or two like two each day rather because this one's got one two three four five six seven like seven stickers on one day that that's a lot so i just i do i love using their kits and i have got like another kit and i've got some coming for the home and each cousin but i'm just a bit scared about using it at the minute because i don't want it to turn out like as cluttered as this 
Um, this is another um, one of my faves. This is the Miss and Meow journaling kit. Again, I absolutely loved it. It didn't come with as many boxes, but it did come with loads of like floral stickers and things. And again, I just picked two highlighter colours, Tombow colours that went with it, and I used the Tombows to make boxes and yeah i just absolutely love how this turned out I, I think journaling kits like i've liked journaling kits for, for ages like I, I love using them in my weeks and in my nostalgia and things like that but i'd never really thought to use them in here until i did that uh, other one and this again is just absolutely stunning i think i have got i think i've got another one from miss and Meow. so this little blue and papery one here this is like two pages so that was two pound for both of them and that's a weekly that's a, that's a week done i absolutely love that one i've got quite a few little bloom papery ones now because literally every time she does a new oh this is the sweet love this is the one that i did on the the little bloom papery one love that more little bloom papery i've bought a couple of harriet wright design ones because i thought i'd give them a go i love harriet wright designs I do, I'm obsessed, but the paper is really, really thick. I mean, how stunning is that, guys? How stunning is that? I use journaling kits to set up daily pages in the back. So that's the Harriet Wright Designs one. So is that, and then this is another Miss and Meow one. Journaling kits as well, they're always so much cheaper. Look how stunning that is. Oh, obsessed. It did take a, a while for the Miss Meow ones to come. Rebel Ink Co do journaling kits, which I've got loads of. Planaberry, DK Designs, Alvy Planning Co, More Little Bloom. Like, they're my go-tos for journaling kits and I'm just absolutely obsessed with that week. And then this is the one that I've just done. I think this was uploaded yesterday. This is using a planner, um, a planner K kit botanical spring or something it was the first day of spring um i love this week this is how i want to do my sidebar from now on i've got a section at the bottom for writing my health and symptoms and medication and stuff like that i've used a box to try and get things to jump out at me and used smaller box for smaller things i do love how this week has turned out and i've used tiny stickers from Albie Planning Co as opposed to so let's go back to this one so she does the bigger size stickers like if you look at that planner and coffee in that planner there and then you look at this planner here it's just because I wanted to use the full boxes these boxes are pretty much the same size as the full box and I'm losing that aspect of the planner down because I want to use it itself but I still wanted to get everything else in so yeah this is pretty much how I want the weeks to go going forward so that is my weekly pages and then we go on to the daily pages this is the first time i've ever done a mood board for the year and i absolutely love it i did it on canva me and chris when we first met we used to go camping all the time for like a little weekend away and i absolutely loved it and so i really want to do that again i've put don't overthink it i've got coffee i've got paris i really want to go to paris um i've got like a fitness one love the aesthetic of this uh, this is like my dream car love it and then i've got a never give up because great things take time i just love looking at that and then we have the january cover page so the beginning of each month you have like an empty page like here um what i'm going to do going forward with these is I'm going to be doing my monthly resets in here. The, I'm going to be doing my monthly resets in my strategy, but I'm also going to transfer because, like I said at the beginning, I want all the information at some point to be in here. So I can do it in my strategy first, and then I can transfer the information across. I didn't get this planner until middle end, middle of February. So I did go back and uh, try and back plan as much as I could it was easy for me to get this information from my salary the journaling was a little bit harder to back plan so there is quite a lot of like empty space um where the journaling would be but 
you can see like literally when um when it gets closer to when i got it the journaling is more these are stickers from the powder world and then sometimes i use black pen or sometimes i use a highlighter that will um Denom denominate <laughs> separate the two sides uh this is from the grumpy tortoise love how vibrant the colors are there and then i just love sticking in stickers i use quite a lot of stickers in my daily pages because i just love how they look used some coffee monster co washing and i like using the washy like really thin washy stickers in here so some more little journaling and catching up this is all back planning more washy stickers dk designs coffee monster co sterling ink in case you got her very first attention today and then i've used the sterling ink subscription kits as well absolutely love it i find it really easy to do the first bit of journaling because i literally i get out of bed i come downstairs and then i write and then i try and make myself come back in at the end of the day and finish it off and that's where i'm rubbish at doing that so chris was away all in uh, january february january as well so it was less time for me to have you know just chilling with my planners i love i love using all the stickers and days i want to practice more doing like lettering and things like that because i just think i'm really really rubbish at doing lettering um this was the palentine's weekend used all the stickers from rebel ink co this was valentine's day and then um i put this is my new favorite washi i just love love I am trying not to hoard things, so if I love something, I want to put it in. I'll put a stop nap in. Because I want to look back at this. This is one of my favourite ones. Like I'm feeling meh. Look at that. So me. Um, I want to look back and, you know, see how I was feeling. I just changed it up this day and put the, like, the time daily there. Um, I put the time daily across there, had a to-do list, then did journaling. I think this is when I was experimenting because I came out of my nostalgia. Now this page, oh my God, do I hate it. I hate it so much. I think I just, I wish I'd have stuck to one color. So like the pink without the blue, because I love this blue, it's stunning. And I love the pink, it's stunning. But yeah, all together, I just want to stick that page on that page and just, forget about it uh, again put the time daily there i'm not changing it up much at all guys because if it's not broke don't fix it and i have been religiously using this that's a bit private and i've just come into my groove a lot more i think i do need to use i think it'd be better using more of my emoji stickers in this aspect rather than on my dailies because on my weekly plan with me's because i think i prefer to use like the clear stickers there but i can like really low mood i know i've got stickers for that but i think what i can do is i can just go through as i'm watching netflix or a film or something and i can just stick some stickers in just again because it pops out doesn't it if you've got a sticker there it pops out at you whereas this is just a lot of text um yeah like like i said i don't necessarily journal this all in one day some days i'm like Whoa, i'm going i'm going in hard but i cook a blue up on that day this was using um the kit from um ah uh, what's it called paper minty studio i started doing a monthly kit as well so i've used that and then this is sterling ink again so all these monthlies are blank but i tend i am planning on um using them a bit better i found that i like highlighting and writing in just a couple of the highlights again so it so it jumps out at me i mean i've got boxes and things that i can bring in as well uh, we've got a new cooker we went to colchester zoo my little mini printer is broke as well so i haven't been doing pictures but i i really want to start putting pictures in here as well i started just putting what i was reading and things researching macros um had a little freebie and it was yellow and i thought it would go really nice and just this black and white spread 
this was Easter Sunday and Easter Monday, so I used a little Easter kit, and then I've used some more from the Powder World. I love, love, love how this turned out. And then this is today. See, that's what I wrote this morning. I never normally write that much. So this is Paper Mint Studio again. Just going forward and plan like a few days in advance. Just stick some stickers down. Sometimes I don't, and just wait until it comes for the day. But yeah it's just easy just to whack some stickers down so i'm really loving how i've been using that this is the um english uh, one as well i haven't really done anything in the back i haven't done any addresses or words or favorite things or my 100 I, I suppose i could start writing my books down here but i don't think i'd read 100 books if i stuck to it i would easily read 100 books but i suppose i could do 50 books and 50 films or something like that uh graph paper as well i really wish that i could um be really good at weighing myself and stuff and put that in there uh, we've got a timetable i've just did a little pen test with some tombow mono drawing pens and that's pretty much it that is like how i'm using my home and each cousin and how i intend to use it the only thing i'm not 100 percent sure on is this like tracker at the beginning but i'm really happy with how i want the daily pages to to work going forward and you know everything else that i'm doing in here and i'm really happy that i'm 100 percent invested in this planner i've had a cousin for like three four years and this is the first year that i'm using it like 110 percent but yeah, that is a flip through of my Hobonichi cousin, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.